Hey guys, it's Craig here. Welcome to another Editing Toolbox video. In these videos, Charlotte or I take turns in sharing quick tips, tricks and techniques that we hope will make your editing life a little bit easier. Today I'm going to be looking at this image of Cody, which I shot while I was back at home in Guernsey at a really well-known spot there at Castle Cornet. And this is a dogorama made up of multiple images stitched together. And what I am finding a bit of an issue with this image is the shadow here. It's a very dark shadow, it's quite harsh lines here, and it's a lot different to obviously the side where the light is, and that's really pulling my eye to the bottom of the image. So I, I thought I would fix this up. Now it's worth considering any time where you're going to fix shadows to, I guess, change the direction of the light in, in some kind of way, that you need to really look at the image itself and see if changing the direction of the light would actually make sense. Now, in this case, I think it will, because the light we've got coming in from this side mostly, but we have got some light filling in Cody as well. Then if you look at the shadows on the wall, on which is the castle wall here, you can see there's a shadow here and you can see there's a shadow here coming in from this direction as well. Now that shadow here, I believe, is from this piece here. And it's also casting the shadow here, but if this shadow isn't here anymore, you still have this shadow giving it a sense of, of the direction of the light. So I think for this it makes sense. The second thing to bear in mind is the characteristics of light. If we compare the two sides where the light's hitting and where it's not, the most obvious difference, of course, is that the shadow is darker. It kind of goes without saying it's a shadow, I guess. But what are the other characteristics? There are two other characteristics of this shadow light that are different to the light on the bright side here. The first one is the color temperature. So shadow light is much cooler. And then the second one is the contrast. So again, shadowed light is a lot less contrasty and flatter. So those are the three things that I will be looking at addressing when I'm fixing this. The brightness, the color temperature, and the contrast. So I'm gonna do that all in Lightroom using masks. And really, mostly I'm gonna use a brush, I think, for this. So let's take our first brush and our first step will be the exposure. Now you can have auto masking turned on here, which I have got. That's gonna help me a little bit with these edges here, especially where between the light and the dark. I don't mind too much around the, the, this bit here about whether it overlaps or not. I can address that a little bit separately. And then I'm just coming up over here onto this piece as well. And again, it's going to help me keep in the edges. Then I can turn off the auto masking and I can fill the rest of the image in. Now, if I want to erase anything that I've done, I can just change to erase over here and then come across this piece. Okay, and I think that's a fairly good selection. So let's brighten up the exposure here and then let's give it some warmth. Okay, so I definitely need to add some magenta here to counteract the fact that it's going green as well. And we'll add some contrast, maybe increase the white slightly too. And let's just bring up the shadows as well. Just a fraction. I'm happy with where this is going. Okay, I'm gonna grab a new mask with a brush again. And this bit is a lot darker still, so going to just lighten this bit up on its own and give that some contrast and increase the whites on there as well. So I think that's even out a little bit better. Now another brush. I actually am going to go back over this brick thing in the corner. Auto mask on. I think we'll just take that down a little bit again and make it a little cooler. That's red brick, so I don't want to actually really make that yellow. Okay, and once again, we'll go another new mask with the brush, auto masking. I'm on this top piece here and just try and make that a little bit more neutral. Take some saturation out there a little bit maybe as well. Now, I think that's looking a lot better. What we can probably do is just refine this a little bit more. So on that mask, Yep, this one. I think we probably don't want it quite as warm. And we could probably just increase 
the shadows and the whites a little bit more as well. Maybe even take the magenta down slightly. What I'll do now, I think, is I'll take a linear gradient. Um, linear gradient. Bring that up from the bottom. I'll click on the linear gradient and I'll go subtract. Select subject. I don't want this applying to Cody's feet. And then I'm just going to take the exposure down overall. And also the contrast as well. Then maybe let's take out some clarity and texture too. And I think probably that's too much. That's probably all I, I need to do to even this out enough that I'm happy with the distraction being gone. And now I can really focus on the dog rather than coming down into this really dark space down here. So yeah, I think let's call this edit finished. I'm happy with the results there. Let's take a quick look at the before and after. So if I turn all these masks off, it's going to include everything that I've done to the sky and everything as well outside of what I'm showing you here with the shadow. But let's turn that off so you can see the before. And there's our after. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of a tip on things to look for when you're fixing up shadows. And if you've got any questions, as always, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. And I'll see you again in a couple more weeks for my next video.